to show you a very classic traditional Greek dish for fried smelts along with boiled greens. Now, fried smelts is very classic, also known in Greek as atherines. If any of you have been to Greece in the summer, chances are they were on a menu somewhere for sure. So today I am using freshwater smelts here in Canada, but I promise you if you can get your hands on saltwater smelts, it is a game changer. It is absolutely fantastic. So I've got about a pound of smelts here. It's a very simple dredge of flour. That's it. We don't add our seasoning into the flour. We salt and pepper and do whatever at the end. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to boiled greens, I've had these on for a while. Today I'm using uh, broccolini or rapini. Any way you call it, it's deliciousini. It is like fantastic. The thing is with Greeks, we boil the Jesus out of everything. We do not, um, we do not kind of parboil anything, uh, nothing like that. You know, blanch it and then put it in an ice bath. Doesn't happen here. We just boil this until as if we're making tea. That's how much. So my, uh, my oil is pretty much up to temperature. The temperature that we're looking for here is somewhere between 360 and 370 or so, give or take. That's the range that you want to be in. Any less than that, or if your pan isn't, uh, isn't hot enough, you're going to have whatever is you're frying absorbing the oil, and that's like caca. Not a good thing at all. So let me start by getting the show on the road here. I'm going to just take the, the smelts. Very easy. Nothing complicated. And these have been pre-cleaned and uh, the heads have been removed. So I'm just going to pop them in here. And these are, for those of you that aren't used to frying fish, believe me when I tell you these are a very entry level uh, fish. So just make sure they're all kind of evenly uh, floured here. This is, not, this is not rocket science, my friends. Not at all. And what you're going to do is keep, uh, keep adding some in here and covering them up. So they're completely uh, dredged in flour. And just drop these in there, just like that. Give them some space. You don't have to crowd the pan. There's no need for that. Perfect, just like that. And these don't take long at all as well. Once these hit the pan, right away, it's like the smell of summer in Greece. I love it, absolutely love it. Again, you're gonna wanna Rinse off your hands. All right, so my first batch is done. They are GBD, golden brown and delicious. And what I'm doing is very simply placing them in on a paper towel so it'll absorb the excess, uh, the excess oil. It's already smelling like a Greek restaurant in here in the summer in Greece. And now I'm just gonna take the rest of my smelts, just put them in there. All right, so my last batch of smelts is in. Now that these are nice and hot, this is what I'm actually going to season. And I'm going to do a little salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to go over these. And the quintessential ingredient is fresh lemon. Please, for the love of Pete, don't use that like, the shit in the green bottles. If you use that, you won't have anything to clean your windows with. So just give these a little squirt just like that because now that they're piping hot, it's going to absorb everything in there and it's going to be so crazy delicious. So leave those there. These are doing their thing in here and we're almost there. We're almost done. Now, I'm going to take, actually before I take, let me take my oven mitts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my broccolini. And I don't know about you guys, but I hate like soggy veggies of any kind. 
and these have been sufficiently like overkilled. They've been like cremated, so that's awesome there. It's one of my favorite meals in like the whole world. I love this. So just let those drain there. And again, those are very simply going to get dressed after with a little lemon and my Greek extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. All right. My fish is done, ready to go. My smelts are absolutely perfect. They're just like GBD, baby. Golden brown and delicious. We're almost there. Take this. Oh, you can hear that sizzle. Fantastic. All right, perfect. A little pepper around, just like that. Awesome. A little more lemon, fresh squeezed lemon. You cannot beat that now that they're, oh, look, the, the cold lemon hits the fish and it's like, you hear the sizzle. That's what we want. That is fantastic. Now, my, my Horta gonna grab myself a little bowl here just to dress them up very easy very simple to do perfect these are absolutely fantastic oh these are like some of my favorite absolute greens ever little Greek extra virgin olive oil just like that and you're probably, in this, are probably going to go quarter cup. Yeah. Screw the one and two tablespoons business. That doesn't work like that. Then I'm going to take some fresh squeezed lemon. We know the, how that goes. That's perfect, just like that. So this, my friends, is my fried smelts with Greek greens. In this case, rapini or broccolini, very traditional recipe, very summery, but then again, you could eat this year round. It is so crazy good. I'm gonna try one now. Mm. Mm. Crispy, crunchy, like candy. Mm. 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 Oh, mm. Mm. oh my God. That is so damn good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And not that long ago, made some artisanal bread. This is going to go nice for dunking. And this recipe is very, very easy. You need maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch of oil to fry these puppies up. And it takes about five or six minutes per uh, per batch. So that's it for this episode on my fried Greek style smelts with greens. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. It is my absolute pleasure sharing these types of recipes with you. They're off the beaten path. They're not on mainstream restaurant menus here anyway, or at least in North America, but you will find this throughout Greece. Again, thank you so much for watching. For this recipe and many others, check me out online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, I will definitely see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.